Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions. And welcome to video three for the LSP white texture and background overlays available at lsp-actions.com. In this video, I'm gonna be moving really quickly, just applying some textures um, nice and fast and showing you how well they work on these white background images. Um, and also some kind of different effects you can get, which is really good fun um, when playing with these textures. If you're new to using these um, in this set, um, please do watch video number one, which is the complete overview where I show you how to download, to load them up, to get the actions running, to get the actions looking in this coloured one-click panel here, um, and exactly how to use everything um, nice and slowly. So please do watch video number one if you're in any doubt. But this video is a great overview to show you how quickly these work once they're up and running, and some cool effects you can choose um, to use on them. So let's get started. So this image here, you can see it's got um, a white background and normally adding textures in Photoshop, they wouldn't even show on a white background or they'd kind of completely decimate your image. So these um, LSP textures are designed especially for white backgrounds and the actions included help you blend those two white background images. So I'm gonna click here um, in these um, actions that are included um, complementary with the textures apply to white background here. I'm going to choose the texture overlay so uh, which one should we go for let's go for um, let's say morning breeze here comes up nice and transparent so you can add this over your whole image let the action play out and it's done the layer is selected for skin paint up here already the brush is selected so i can literally just go over the skin and take this texture off anywhere i don't want it to show you can, of course, make a more detailed subject selection, and I'll show you how to do that in video number one, where I really go over everything. But let's just do it super quickly. I'm just going to use select subject up here. I hit W first before doing that. Back to the brush, and I'm going to just grab a black brush, and make it a little bigger, and take this texture completely off some of these areas here. And there we go. Now you can see this image is black and white um, and the texture we've added has got a little bit of colour to it. So on the actions I'm just going to click on the desaturate texture and that will blend that perfectly with the image. So there we go, before and after there, adding uh, texture to a white background. Let's go ahead and add another one from the white background um, overlays collection here. Which one shall we choose? How about uh, a brick wall? because the old wall here, that would make a lot of sense with this image, that kind of edgy editorial maternity look here. And I'm just going to make that subject selection really, really quickly by choosing select subject. And grab a brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint this off um, the subject. And you can do this manually if you don't have the select subject option, or if that's not working for you so well, you can do that there. So there we go added right in, can change the opacity down, can change exactly how this looks to suit your image, and we're done, before and after, adding that texture to a white background image. So let's go ahead and open another image up, how about this one here? So you can see this is a pure white background, and normally adding textures on a um, a pure white background, it's just not going to work, it's not going to do anything, but using these LSP specific white textures coupled with the actions that come with them, um, you can really magic those white texture backgrounds in there onto whites. So what should we put on this one? Let's have a look. These are the textures that are included. Um, how about we go for... Hmm, let's go for something fun. Let's go for Art Pastel Party for this one, for this little girl here. So I'm just going to add that over. It blends and adapts. I'm going to click the background and just you select subject because I'm lazy but really you could um, just you know just paint this with the brushes included but I like to do that just to make it nice and quick and there we go now I'm going to use the add floor perspective which is included because this is a full length image here so I'm just going to select the woo select the floor and let this action play out and just add some perspective there to the background and that makes it look like an instant full-length background that the little girl is sitting on just like that now i'm just going to use a black brush to just take a little bit of this toning off the skin but i think it actually works really nicely 
I'm going to finish up with the image vignette which will darken those um, edges in just a touch and there we go adding texture to a white background let's go again let's add some texture to this image here little boy reading a book really cute so let's go um, and click the the action and choose which texture we're going to apply which one shall we go for <laughs> last thing is he's reading a book let's go for paper texture so we add that on resize the action has played out and now we can simply paint this off the skin just getting in there nice and close to take this texture off the subject or you can of course use subject selection um, just hit W on your keyboard select subject oh make sure you're on your background layer select subject come up onto the masks with your brush and that's just made a, a good selection I mean select subject works really well on Photoshop Creative Cloud especially if your subjects on a white background it's a really easy cutout for Photoshop to be able to do and there we go and you can see that all the shadows are still remaining in here um, it hasn't gone over anything it's just added right in there and I'm just going to use a black brush to completely take this texture off the skin there and we're done before and after texture overlay on a white background super easy super quick about this really lovely um, high key newborn and mama image here so we're going to use the white textures especially designed for whites I love that because um, a lot of the time textures really just won't work um, on white images but these are specifically designed to do that so we just played the texture out and let's take this off the skin with the layer that's already been created I'm just going to use the magic wand quickly to use the select subject option just to make it even easier when um, when removing the texture from the skin and the clothing anywhere else where it looks a little bit over textured so we're just taking that off you don't have to use select subject you can just come on like this and brush it just be a little careful around the edges maybe use a hard brush right around these edges here What I'm doing I'm just absolutely completely taking that texture off uh, the main area here and there we go done texture added to a white image really really quickly um, and I'm just gonna play the down here pretty fine image matte as well this adds a really cute matte effect to your image with the textures if your image is a little bit blown out um, this can add that really intentional warm kind of peachy matte look to your image so to show you that before and after really quick really simple really easy to add that texture background to a white image let's go again this little one here let's use one of the um, one of the actual background overlays here I'm not going to need to use one of the backlight ones how about antique this is kind of like an antique room um, panel so let's just kind of pop that in there let's put it a little bit of an angle so it looks like she's genuinely standing there I'm going to hit W and select subject just to give me that selection around the subject back onto the skin paint with a brush and I'm just going to use this just to paint these kind of texture markings off the skin and the subject and the clothing there you can at any point hit ctrl command t and move this texture around um, you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can resize you can completely change it if you want to i'm just painting that off her and we're done you have a blur option here blur the texture that you can add if you want it to look like it's a little further in the background and add that kind of depth of field in there comes up really simply with these actions we have before and after there we're just gonna completely take this off her skin a little more and there we go adding textures to a white image in Photoshop 
add that background in really really quick and really really smooth let's add another one to this beautiful maternity image by Anna Brandt how about we go for the these are the um, the white background um, overlays the white kind of backgrounds here so I love this one and uh, the floral moldings and I'm just going to hit W and hit select subject and back to brush you can hit a B and I'm just going to take that off her skin and her clothing just by rubbing the brush over control or command D to Z select I'm just going to completely take that off here and now I'm going to play the um, the brighten brush on here and that just really brightens up these textures and it adds that um, that lift so you can add this in the direction of light if the direction of light in the image is going in a different way to your background you can simply click the texture and have flip the texture so make sure the light lines up um, to make it super believable I'm also going to hit lighten the texture here I'm just going to play with that just a little bit there just kind of add that in everything here is completely flexible and you can also add your own um, your own layers in there too and just to make this look um, exactly how you want it to look you can play with the blend mode you can do everything so before and after adding those lovely panelled wall mouldings in if you want it to look like your subject isn't exactly um, up against the background you can hit the blur texture option and you can you know really blur this out into the background if you want to just adds that little bit of separation in there super super easy How about this full length image here so we're going to go apply the texture and let's go on the, um, the texture overlay collection instead how about we go maybe for a rainbow rainbow baby or something like that you may want to add these lovely rainbow whites in these abstract textures into your image so I'm just going to do that and hit enter and that's done that one's done I don't even need to really paint that off the subject's skin and of course we want this transparency coming through on the fabric here um, because it you know it, 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 there is the actual natural transparency there but I'm just going to dot over a little bit on, on the fabric there just to lessen it a little bit I'm going to add this floor perspective in the actions already included it's guided so it tells you kind of exactly what to do all you do is you play it you draw the floor on and you just you're done super super quick so see there before and after Let's add another one into this image instead so you can just keep going and adding them until you find the one you really really like how about we go for um which one should we go for masters let's have a masters because i do like this one i love them all really to be honest <laughs> okay and again let's add that floor perspective in by using the action really really quick hit it again and just drag that out and we're done and because this is a black and white image obviously it's backlit we can just go quickly on to desaturate the texture and that's just taken all the color out really really quick and really really easy so let's add another texture in um, a white texture again on the white background so you want to make sure you're using the LSP white texture overlays here just to make sure um, that they will definitely compatibly work with a white background let's go for veils for this one so I'm just going to actually flip this over flip it around and add that in there to the image and hit enter it's going to play out and we can simply grab our brush and paint this any kind of little texture bits off the skin if it's showing and looking a little bit odd you can also hit the background layer hit W or select one of the magic wand tools and go for select subject 
or you can come up here on the select menu and choose subject and that just gives you quite a nice cutout of your subject to be working with. So I'm going to go back on the brush and just use this to take this um, the background texture off the clothing, off the skin, anywhere like that. And we're done. I'm going to add um, the blur to this texture. And just you get that really lovely background effect. Really, really pretty. So we have before and after. Really does add some interest into your image. You can add both options in the gallery. Or if you've got two shots that are quite similar, you can use this to kind of really mix things up. Um, you, you can do lots of different things with these whites available at LSP. And these are especially for white backgrounds. So if you've shot on a one-year studio on a white seamless backdrop paper, these are the textures and the overlays are especially for whites, not for any other images. They are especially for whites and the actions will help you apply and blend those beautifully with white images. You can get these at lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.